reduction young poverty and training, do we look at effective and wide range protection along the way to the direction of the young poverty and training? Um, I, I think historically you're right, but the position we're in, um, and look, and in actual fact with the injuries that, that have occurred, like with Hill and Bernal, uh, Ballantyne, which is a bit of our experience, um, really Alex Pierce, Zach Clark, the list goes on. Um, fundamentally, we're, we're mostly young players. So we, we took the young group to Melbourne. I think we had 10 under 30 games to Melbourne to play Melbourne at MCG and um, we, we got the chocolate. So it's not, um, we're, we're not really in a position to have that luxury to make all those calls. Uh, we've just got to play people that are play we aim to keep integrity of selection. We th feel we've been doing that quite well. And some of our young other younger players are just coming back from injury like um, Taylor and DeMann and, and Luke Ryan had some um, significant injuries, so they've just got a couple under their belt. So we have got some limited selection options underneath, but um, you know we're, we're relatively healthy who played on the weekend. You know, obviously um, some bruises and bits and pieces, but we, we think we can work our way through that. So we, we mightn't have to make a decision. We might be able to just roll on. Yeah, but he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, he had um, a clash of legs. So, yeah, but he come back on his last quarter was really strong. So um, that was pleasing. Yeah, he, he'll be fine. Well, what did you make of Michael Walters game at that time of the midfield? How did you find that? Told you he'd stunned the midfield. No? <laughs> yeah, that was a stroke of genius, wasn't it? <laughs> he played quite well. Uh, like, like most of us, once we got organised, our second half was, was a lot better. Look, he had a lot of ground balls. He kept it simple. I thought his pressure was back um, to its very best. And it seems to go hand in hand. And even though he didn't play um, kick goals, he certainly set up a lot of goals and, and played quite well. So again, um, he, he was happy. We were happy. And um, it was a step in the right direction. Do you persist with that again this week, though? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think if you look at us without, you know, Brady Gray still building his reputation and Harley Ballack still building a reputation. So therefore, um, Michael's got a big reputation, hasn't he? So he, he gets the lockdown defender. So you, you play Hawthorne, he gets Stratton hanging on to him pretty tightly all day. So he gets that on a regular basis and typically he can work through it. But if we're not playing great footy, giving him good support and supply, it makes it difficult. So... There's no doubt you get more freedom in the midfield, you know. So, um, yeah, but he didn't voice that. He, m he may look like it at times. He's a pretty fiery customer. I, I try not to upset him. He's, he's pretty tough. So um, we're trying to accommodate his um, desires and needs. Rob, what does a, a young side, you say, obviously back to Melbourne again where you had that victory a few weeks ago, what does a young side take from that and then obviously going back on the, on the road again to the same place? Yeah, I'm not too sure, except confidence comes from action. So, look, we've won our four out of our last five. So, um, and we, we've come up short against the quality of West Coast. So, um, we're, we're looking to improve. We've identified um, areas, particularly out of the first half, where we could have been better. So, well, we I don't, could be on the moon. I don't really care. We've, we've been to Geelong and played a final when they hadn't been one play in 100 years. It's not something we dwell on or focus on. I understand it's a, um, topic of discussion but we're all about improving our football and an it's another opportunity to improve for a young group um, it's an opportunity for the team and everyone to improve that that's our simple focus and then from there everything if you get that right if you improve your footy the, the result takes care of itself yeah look we'll consider that we he can be a proactive midfielder and he gets a fair bit of ball anyway. So, I mean, Dustin's unique. He's explosive and powerful and um, spends a fair bit of time out of the goal square. That's something we'll look at. It's certainly an option, but um, gee whiz, Cochin's playing pretty good footy and, and Griggs in good shape. He, he was in the um, coaches' awards votes on the weekend. So, um, well, they're a formidable opposition. No, they're really, I watched on the couch Friday night. 
they were, they were, they were pretty impressive. They fight to the end. Rewalt's a real um, spearhead for them. They're, they're, they're playing with a lot of belief and enthusiasm. So I think there might be 50 or 60 mad Tiger thousand, might hopefully 50 or 60, but probably 50 or 60,000 um, Tiger fans there. So it would be a great experience for our young group and, and um, hopefully Connor can, can play an important part in that. Well, the question, can anyone go with Dusty? I don't know. Has anyone stopped him yet? So maybe you need to work off him. You know, maybe you need to work off him. So look, when we have decided to lock down, Connor's gone and played full back a number of times. It doesn't, he's got better each time at it. So went forward to Bontempalli. He's six foot three. He took some marks on him, but I forget who else he's played on, but they went forward. They, you tend to put him to bed and move on. Can't keep looking backwards. So look, Dustin's a great player. We all acknowledge that. I think he's a restricted free agent, so he sits in the category of five, you know. But um, yeah, we we admire and respect Dusty. Well, where can Lockie with that name off the potential matchup? We've got Lockie Richards for Yeah, well, Lockie's a bit of a footyologist, so that could happen. Yeah, that that'd be exciting for everybody. Would you like to see that? Me. Dusty and five. My wish list. I don't have one. <laughs> I've got one, but I'll keep that under my hat. Oh, thanks. Um, look, since I've been, I've never spoken about finals. Never, it's an aim for everybody. Take care of the process, which is improving your footy, um, winning games of football. You, you add them up at the end. and But the journey we're on, I, we just want to improve our football. Um, so, yeah, nothing really further to add to that. Uh. Yeah. At this presser? No, at this uh, stage of the season. Oh, okay. Wins and, yeah, wins and losses. Yeah, I never predict. I never, I never have, um, because it, it's such a cutthroat competition. The uh, the theorists that sit there and get out and look at your draw and pencil in wins and losses. I mean, it's a very difficult task and it's fraught with danger. So. Then I'm worrying about results. I've never worried about results. What I've worried about is what you've got to do to get them. And that, that tends to stand you in pretty good stead. Do the work and give yourself the best chance. And um, it tends to go OK. But we, we need to keep working and, and doing the work and improving our footy because we're, we're off. T Clearly, there's some dominant teams in the competition. The, the Cats have been super, GWS, Adelaide. Um, we're, we're in that group that we, we've got to work really, really hard and, and improve our footy. But there's plenty of improvement in us. I think that's uh, what I'm really enthusiastic about. And, and look, we identified some key principles that have been holding us back um, that we've delivered to the players and we hope to improve, not hope, we aim to improve upon. Do you have a bearing in it? Or not particularly, yeah, not. They're just subtle things at times, you know, just working together defensively. Um, working together. We got scored against a bit too easily on turnover, even though we didn't turn over a lot. There was a couple of clangers, but um, it was more, you know, you, the best teams work together really sharply and consistently to cover up those errors. And, I, and we've experienced really high standards of that, so we just spoke about things we can do to um, organise ourselves better, you know. Some, sometimes it's just a simple, well, you're ball watching after an error. Don't worry about it. Get on and, and help us get organised. So. Um, sometimes it's really simple, but um, it can get overlooked. So um, that, that's exciting bit out of the weekend. Well, what's different about them this year? Richmond? Yeah, I haven't had a really good look at them because I watched them on the couch, but um, I need to look at behind the goals. I haven't watched them live. and um, Well, they're a bit like us. They're winning, so that's a start. Um, I don't know. They've got small forwards are really pivotal. They, they've got some exciting small forwards. I think they're, um, the addition of um, Caddy, Presti, will he come back? So midfield, um, a few of their players have had a, a free run of injury, like Bostoon, even though he got hurt on the weekend, he's back in. So sometimes it's a natural progression and 
Um, competing wallpapers over a lot of cracks, and they're competing fiercely. Yeah, just tune in the Channel 9 News. I think he'll be there spruiking himself. He's getting really close. It'll be in the next couple of weeks, I think. So, um, Tom, I will know. Tom, I will know. I couldn't tell you exactly. It's around 9, around 10. Well, it depends how he... He's still got some strength improvements to do, but it, I think he'll do 50% today, full train, big session Friday, train next week, and then we'll be able to make some decisions. But as always, it's based on him continuing to progress. What do you think? <laughs> he's been in every day, yeah. But he's he's fantastic. He's really um, supporting our young players and helping bring them on. Brady Gray and and Harley Ballack is really um, buying in, and um, he, he's been the Hayden that we know and love. So he's been fantastic. Did you go with the same rough spots you had last week, Scott? Did you go well with the same rough spots? Yeah, he was really good, but we we know Johnson can go in there, so. We'd like to do a, a bit of both, really, Johnson and Tabernar. But for whatever reason, last week we, we just kept it Tabernar and, and Sandlands. But Jono's, um, we'd like to get him through. He likes going through there, funnily enough, freed up. And um, so we, we'd like to adhere to that a little bit more than we did last week. Yeah. How, how do you view the value of getting someone like Aaron and Holly Bally through? Because you're in a market where it's really a lot of time going through and, and other times you're just getting picked off. Yeah, well, they're going to get picked off. I mean, um, yeah, rough work's important, but it's not the be-all and end-all. But, um, yeah, he was really influential. Um, we kicked three goals out of the middle. That, that was pretty good. Uh, I think they kicked two, two goals from stoppages or, or three, one from the middle and one, two out of their four to 50, you know. So, and that wasn't about rough work. That got picked off, that one merit. Um, but the rest, we, we scored pretty strongly out of the middle, three goals and at our attacking mid were pretty good. So I think we're getting reasonable reward. Um, we've been scoring, the opposition been scoring, but last week we defended a little bit better. Yeah. So we can, it's always, um, we'd like to be more efficient and effective. But yeah, it seems to have strategies to, to, to make us scramble a bit. So that's okay. Thanks, Thanks guys. Steve. Yeah, it's disappointing for Michael, it's disappointing for us. Um, but he's a he's, um, very focused and determined young man. He'll have a PCL reconstruction. I didn't read the statement because I don't need to. I think that's what I've adhered to. And he'll, he'll get sta he's really determined. Um, it's frustrating. It, it, it puts some pressure on, on your list. There's no doubt about it. It's a first round pick from four years ago. I mean, you know, you, you really want those guys. Um, to come through, so he'll get there in the end. It's just going to take some time. You know, there's, there's some challenges there, but um, yeah, he's got our full support, and and he'll hook in and he'll do the work. So yeah, it's obviously a tough time.